Hi, uh, in this video today, I would like to show you how to use the start feature in the Sochi. Okay, so basically, when you are working in your software project, and uh, actually you have to work on a lot of branches in the project. So, for example, at this time you are working on the phase 2 of the ZIT project, and you already deliver the phase 1 to the client to do the UAT or something like that. Okay, so during during the time you are working in phase 2 and the client send some feedback for the phase 1 for the UAT so if we have any bug we have to back to work on the phase 1 for the big bug and after that we deliver it again for the client to do the verify or something like that okay so when you are working on the phase 2 that brand so if we have any short code chain uh, if, uh, if if the short code is not finished, so you don't want to commit it to the the, the, the brand. So how to manage the chain before you uh, you, you submit it to back to the phase one? And in this video today, I would like to show you how to do it. Okay, so for flight number this one here, uh, that one brand here is the uh, phase one and currently you are working on the dev2 so now how I will check it out the dev2 I will do, do some modification here okay I open the working copy I will add a new file here okay so now I take file start start one This is the content of that one. Ah. Okay, close this and back to this one. Okay, so now you can see here we have a new file has been added into this brand, and the file name is start one dot txt file here. Okay, so basically, if if you think this one is a finite upcoding so you can click on state on here and after that you can go ahead to commit it to the uh, to the server however for now the uh, the feature for this, uh, this, this, this in this file has been still not finished yet so you don't want to do the commit it and put it to the remote server okay and now when the client send back to you on the uh, on the command for the dev one here, and you have to come back to the dev one to fix the code. Okay, so now I still not commit the the, the chain, a new chain in the dev two to the server. And if I take out the dev one, okay, let's see. Okay, and you can see here we still have the chain. Is start start one dot txt file here so there is the chain of the uh, develop develop to it still keep the new file added into the uh, brand 2 in the dev one so now if you have any modification in the dev one and you commit the code so it will still contain the code of the, the, the chain in the new feature Okay, so now back to the dev2 here and it fully support for you a feature is start here. Okay, so when you click on start here and enter the name for this one, I will come enter it dev2 adding new start file. Okay. So here, if you have another, you have another option. It keeps the chain, meaning if you select this one. So after you click the OK button, it will create a new start, or uh, for 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 this uh, brand. But it will still keep the, it will still keep the 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 chain in the in the brand. And after you switch it to another brand, so it will still keep the chain in in the local here. So you still see it on the PC when you switch it to another brand. And otherwise, when you leave it by blank here, 
so after you click on the OK button here, it will it will uh, the, the, the chain has been run here. So when you click on Start here, it will save a new chain into Start here on the left side of the panel. You can click on this one and see the content of the file here. Okay, so here when you click on the start, uh, a, a chain of the brand, so it will automatically commit the chain to a temporary uh, repository on the local PC. So you can uh, use it later. Okay, so now I will back to the next one here. I will take it out and click on Google Cooking Copy here. You can see we have no state file here. I will I will add some code or modification here. Okay, let's do it. Okay, save it, and I will commit this to the left one. Fit the bug. Commit button here to do the commit to the server. Okay, so now when you finish the feedback for the deliver one to the UAT, and now you we have no bug left anymore. So you click on the two, and you want to get the new code, uh, the, the current code you are working on for the chain in this brand, and you just go ahead to click on open this one and right click on this one. And you select the apply state to the dev2 brand here. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you can see here after you click on the working copy, the state one dot txt file here has been back. Okay, cool. So now if you think you do some modification on this one, I will open the Okay, I will do some modification here. This one has been back to going to the Okay, so now here we have another chain. Click on the state on. Okay, so now I will enter it. Commit. Okay, cool. And you can see here, it has been committed to the, 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 the remote server. Okay, nothing left. Okay, so after you finish the commit to the server here, so you can go ahead to delete this stat to keep the memory for the uh, repository. Just go ahead to click on this one and delete stat. Okay, button. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to manage the short code. When you are working on uh, many branches at the same time in your project, and to save the to save the chain and prevent the prevent the issue for missing the code, I so you I think you should use the start feature in the Git and also the strategy to, uh, to 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 manage the chain when you are working on uh, many branches on the project. Okay, hope that the video will be helpful for you. And do let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. See you next week in the next tutorial.